Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Tea Time. Today we have some Misty Morning and Focus combination. It's just good, it's just good. It has that bergamot in there, some other little flavors. It's just so, so, so good. Really great in the morning. Anyways, I know you guys have asked me for these. Go pick them up, Dark Moon Teas, darkmoontees.com or you can go over to my website, jchristina.com. Go pick them up, you wanted them, there they are. Also, also you guys asked me if I had any more of these left, and I do. This is the Aurora cleaning product that I came up with. This is the microfiber cleaning cloths. They look like this. There's a wet and a dry. They come multiple inside here. You clean with the wet, then go over with the dry. Basically, it takes off 99% of all bacteria, 93% of all viruses, and it has an antifungal. So when you clean your iPhone or your iPad or your whatever, any type of display, it will look like new, brand new. I guarantee it, it'll look inky black and all of that bacteria and virus and all that gunky stuff will be off also. So if you need some more of these, we do have some more available. Go over to the website. I do have that promo code still running. If you use YT50, you'll get 50% off only these. I'm putting them out there at 50% off because this whole COVID-19 thing. And I wanna make sure that everyone can get these. So it's half off for the next week or so. Pick them up if you need them. Now, today we're going to be talking about this, the Canon EOS, can you believe it, webcam utility? What is that, guys? Canon webcam utility. So I'm going to get into that in just a second. A lot of you have been asking me, where in the heck have you been, Joe, for the last week? Where have you been? Well, do you remember about a month, maybe two months ago, I talked about the people over there at Serif, they were going to come up with this event. It was gonna run for the entire month of May. It was called Lockdown 2020. I'm like, wow, that sounds just awesome. Really, really cool. Now that we're in May, let me play for you this ad spot. So there you go, looks interesting, right? Did you catch that little list at the very end? Let me bring it up. Do you see something that looks interesting? Right around the third column, it says Joseph Christina. What? <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? Well, that's what I've been doing for the last week, right? So about two or three weeks ago, Seraph, the people that make Affinity Photo, designer, publisher, reached out to me and said, I was one of the 100 creatives worldwide that they selected to be featured at Lockdown 2020. So, I don't even know what to say, kind of speechless. It was quite an honor. And to see the list of all the other designers and photographers and artists and illustrators that were selected and their quality of work, I'm just simply humbled. All right, and this is the reason why last week I did not have any videos out. Normally you guys know that I have two or three videos out every week. Well, I ended up shooting a model and doing a ton of back-end work on this specific premiere that's going to be going live on May 11th. And as I always say, mediocrity is no longer acceptable. Be stellar or be nothing. So you have to put forth 110% effort on everything you do as a creative today. That's how you are recognized. You are recognized by the worst work that you create, okay? And your best. So always put that best foot forward because the last thing you did, if it ends up being junk, that's what people are gonna remember you for. You don't want that to be the case. So I put forth a lot of effort into this. Like I said, it's going to be going live on May 11th. And I want you guys to join me for that premiere over on Affinity's site, on their YouTube channel, okay? So I'm gonna tell you more about this as it gets closer to May 11th so that you have the exact URL and where to go to and at what time and all that stuff. So 
Once again, all you people want to know where I've been, that's where I've been. I've been working on Lockdown 2020. So today, once again, it's going to be about the Canon EOS webcam utility. And a lot of people are like, what the heck is that? We've been looking for something like this for so long. I've gotten so many comments like, hey, Joe, how do you use your DSLR as a webcam? And then I tell them how to do it. They're like, oh yeah, but you can see the tracking of your face on it. It has that full HUD, you know, your heads up display in there. It's showing your, your F stop, all the rest of this stuff. How much battery life? We can't have that for a webcam. Well, there was a few pieces of software that I always recommended to people to use that whitewashes all of that information off of the feed. Now, it costs money. They were like $30, $40, $50. Well, now Canon has released this utility that will do that for you. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go and download the software, install it on this computer for the first time, and then I'm going to roll this footage that you see now through my ADD into OBS and see what it looks like. Does it look like garbage? Does it look pretty good? Can it be used as a webcam? What is it? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you like real world how it is. So let's go over to the site to go and download this. So this URL over on Canon's site, don't try to copy it down right now. In the description, as well as in the comment area, you're going to see that URL. That's all you have to do is click on it and you'll be able to get right here. So here are the instructions on how to download it, how to install it. Very simple, we're just going to get the software, install it, and then reboot. Now, the most important thing here is at the bottom of this is a list. These are the EOS DSLR cameras as well as the EOS mirrorless cameras and the PowerShot cameras that are compatible with this EOS webcam utility. This is beta. So if it has some hiccups, it has some hiccups. Now we can see that there's a lot of cameras on here from 1Ds to 5Ds, 6Ds, 7Ds, 77, the 80D, the 90D. There's a lot, a bunch of Rebels. There's a lot of cameras that are already here, but it's my understanding that they are adding to this list as days go on. So this is really, really, this is a good start. Let's put it that way. This is a good start. So let's go ahead and select the EOS 80D because that's the camera that we're currently using what operating system, and that is Windows 10 64-bit. So that's what it's detecting and that's what it actually is. If you have something different and it doesn't detect properly, just change that. We wanna go down to EOS Webcam Utility Beta 090. And now let's go ahead and download the software. As you can see, it's only 1.48, one and a half megs, guys. It's tiny. Let's go ahead and open that. So, all right, there's the installer. We're gonna hit next. And of course we have to agree to Canon's license, which we're gonna do, we hit next. And that's it, installation complete. At this point, I'm going to reboot my computer and we'll be right back. And when I come back, I'm going to be recording on this camera, but through OBS using the ADD as a webcam. And that's if everything goes right. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be back just like this. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go check it out. So there we go. How is it looking? I don't know. I won't know until we take a look at this footage after the fact. But as of right now, I have rebooted my computer. I've went into OBS and I've added this webcam, which it comes up immediately as a webcam, which is my Canon EOS 80D. I've added it into the source and now we're using it. I can see in OBS on my screen that I am there. So how does it look? I don't know. Is it quick? Does it look slow? What does the frame rate look like? Are we only getting like 15 frames per second? Are we getting 30? Are we getting the full frame rate at 60 frames per second? 59.94 or what? That is the question. But what I see so far on my screen, it looks really, really good. So. We'll take a look at it and then I'm gonna come right back with the regular video. So I'm gonna stop this and I'll be right back. So how did it look guys? I think it looked pretty good, right? I just checked it out and the frame rate looks good. It might be slightly off just a 
tick just a little bit. This is something that you guys might want to do also. If you go into OBS and change how many milliseconds delay you have, for me, I'm using 125 millisecond delay. And that seemed to have synced up my audio with my movement of my lips, whereas it wasn't exactly locked up at the beginning. So that might be something that you wanna do. So if you do use this as a webcam and you're using OBS, make sure that you go into your audio settings and sync it up. Do some tests so that it's working well for you. Your delay is gonna be different than my delay. It has to do with USB 2, USB 3, your computer system, how fast it is, and yada, yada, yada. And if you have something that you're using to record that's not OBS, and it still gives you the ability to have that delay setting, go ahead and set it. Because this way, it'll just simply look better. So all in all, I really like it. I think it's fantastic. And just by looking at this list here, this is a decent list. This is a decent list. You have what, 10, maybe 15, almost 20 cameras already accounted for here. So as time goes by, like I said, they're most likely going to add more and more and more. One of the cameras that a lot of people have been clamoring about using as a webcam is the Canon EOS M50. Or overseas, you guys call it the KISS whatever. Basically, Canon's mirrorless M50. And it's awesome. I mean, it does a hell of a good job at 1080p. It does a really good job at 4K. So a lot of vloggers use it. Well, it's on the list, guys. It's on the list. That is fantastic. So many people are going to use this. Now, bear in mind, like I said, this is beta 0.90 or whatever. So they're going to get better as time goes by. I'm sure there's going to be some bugs that people find here and there, but that's okay. That's okay. Just seeing that Canon is doing this, I think is just, I don't know. It feels like Fujifilm. You guys know that I absolutely love Fujifilm. Why? I love their product, but I love their customer service, all right? When you buy a Fujifilm camera that is shooting, let's say, 1080p, and then literally like two months later, they upload a firmware update that now gives you 4K on the exact same camera, that is freaking awesome, guys. That is awesome. And that's what I really love about Fujifilm. They're constantly giving back. Canon has never been like that. Canon has just been, their feet stuck in the mud for so many years that a lot of Canon folks are just switching. A lot of them are switching to Fuji, they're switching to Sony, they're just moving out of the platform. I haven't done that. I've stuck with them, but you know how I am. I'm unbiased. I really don't care what camera company I'm using. All right, I tell you straight on if it's good, bad, or indifferent. This right here I think is phenomenal. Okay, because it shows that they're understanding what people are wanting and literally with one and a half meg download, they gave it to them. Why they couldn't do this five years ago, I don't know. Obviously they could, but Canon is just, they've just been terrible for so, so long. We also see the Canon EOS R5, the R6. What the heck is going on? I don't know. I really don't know, but they're really moving forward. Leaps and bounds, it's like, what? I don't know, I really don't know. Anyways, as you know, I'm not a Canon fanboy. I do shoot Canon for the last two decades, but I really don't care. If they do crappy stuff, I will call them out on it, just like I call all the rest of the companies out on their stuff. So anyways, check this out. If you're doing Zoom because of this COVID-19 thing or you're doing whatever and you need a webcam and you don't want the thing to look completely like crap like all the other webcams do, now you're able to use your DSLR or your mirrorless Canon to do it. The one caveat here is, is when I look at this list and I look at that download, I didn't see anything about Mac. Now, when you watch this video, maybe it'll be there, but every version that I saw was all Windows, 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 Windows. So bear that in mind. It might only be a Windows created driver as of right now. And if that's the case, I'm sorry to all of my old Apple friends out there. You're not going to be able to use it as of yet. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will create an Apple driver. And maybe by the time you see this, they will have this 
the Canon EOS webcam utility and it'll say OS X <laughs> next to it. I don't know, but let's hope so. So anyways, as always, I hope you enjoy this content. If you have, please throw me a big thumbs up. That is very helpful. Don't forget also to smash that subscribe button so you get all my content when it becomes available. Click the bell icon somewhere right around here. So when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. Don't forget also to go download my ebook. It's free. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. It is 10 tips of getting sharper images. Perfect for amateurs as well as professionals. There's something in there for everyone. Go download it. Like I said, it's free, guys. It's free. jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Also, join us after hanging out here on YouTube. Join me in our Discord server, our creative Discord server. Head over to community jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. Participate. Get involved. There's hundreds and hundreds of just brilliant people over there from all walks of life that are just so knowledgeable when it comes to photography, videography, anything creative. Go over there, join. Once again, that is also for free. And that's it, guys. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.